and, and the way he plays is so seamless to like connect a lot of situations where he can basically dictate the pace especially his robin gameplay with the arc fire stuff speaking but. about robin have you seen uh the robin player angel yes dude angel's so good the one thing that i really like about like robin is like they're, it's a zoner, but it's, they're very limited and like they actually have to make every hit count because they have a cooldown right after It's multi versus in smash. Yeah cooldowns <laughs> <laughs> yeah, It's a rare instance of that happening morbid going Rosalina Luma one of the uh, few practitioners of that character Obviously, you know the buzz pretty famed Homika is competing oh, SSC right now Zero death? Oh my yeah. goodness. Oh my gosh morbid taking no quarter for uh, Fat Girls right there to start things off. Morbid takes no prisoners at this point. Oh my goodness. Definitely, you can see he's keeping his space right now. Fat Girls is really gonna have to be the one to approach and that's not looking like the best thing. Especially for a character like Robin where practically all of her specials are projectiles except uh, the down special, yep. The yeah. But you'll, you have to make a decision about whether or not to use the, the, the Luma to absorb it, that be moved. Oh my gosh, they stuffed in with the Love and Sword Fair. Not quite gonna get that grab. Shield so, pressure, look at that. Morbid is managing that so easily, effortlessly. Yeah, Morbid, I, already at 99% Rosa being one of those taller characters, but she can do a lot of damage, especially, uh, it's, it, if you think about it, it's kind of like a, like like gyro, gyro and Rob, but like, you can actually, uh, you can have more control over Gyro. Right. I mean, you just have, you have pretty good control over Luma for the right. most part. And also it your, po your opponent of. can't use Luma. No. <laughs> we were talking about whether you could grab Luma. Imagine. Stream. Yeah, it'd be great. But uh, now nah, the, the, the Galactic Princess herself doesn't quite allow that to happen. You can see right now, Fat Girl has a huge deficit. The, the more he gets hit, it seems like this, this game is already running away from him. But that forward air is going to save him um, and take that first stock. Right nice. Now he's got the thunder. Nice bobbing and weaving from Fat Girl to avoid Morbid from coming down from the Angel platform. But this is a tricky situation. He tried to spend some time to make uh, Luma pay, but it gave Morbid a chance to throw him off stage. And still at ledge. Can Morbid now steal the stock? Threatening with these back airs. It's almost like Rosa becomes like a whole disjoint herself. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, was that one of the, the books that she just threw? Yes, she caught the book. Oh, I More, didn't know. Morbid, Morbid's mindful of that kind of stuff. But now Fat Girl's got the sword, too. Oh, now he's got the, the weaker sword. That, that That's a big difference. That can be that sword can be a big game changer between the uh, the strong one and the weak one. And that forwarder is going to do it for uh, Fat Especially Girl. with how little shield damage it does, too. So yeah. uh, Fat Girl's just kind of stuck with an ineffectual weapon. But, oh, takes a moment to strike as... Um, more was trying to absorb the arc thunder. I feel like I feel like Robin had such good like cap uh like the capability or the uh, potential for Robin could have been so much, but then th th we got this. It's like oh. the, the durability. Oh, was that good? Was that an up tilt? I believe. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a strong up tilt. My goodness. Well, I guess that uh, eleven sword actually does really matter. It does. That was a great conversion there by by Fat Girls almost as if to teach you a lesson about underestimating Robin. Yeah. <laughs> Young man. <laughs> <laughs> one thing that Robin can't be using much is their rapid jab because that actually uh, very much. Yeah, it uses one of the resources. Yeah, for, uh, for the recovery. Yes, sir. That's actually very important for Robin. It is one of the ones I think. I think it recharges relatively fast though. But, oh, yeah. look at oh, that. The, the, down, the consume. Yeah, the Nosferatu out of the, the arc fire stun. Very much a bread and butter Robin. Another setup. arc fired. Luma, I believe, is dead. Yeah, once you see that uh, that certain like trail coming out of Luma, you know he's just gonna. Oh, but gets back on the stage. Uh, if I like that that edge guard attempt there by Morbid, because even though he went out twice, he didn't lose stage control at all. Yeah, Rosa definitely being one of those characters that can control a lot of the stage, especially when, if she has Luma. Because her body's so long, she's just kind of like. <laughs> Her body's the entire hitbox, oh god. <laughs> right now, oh, oh throwing wow. an arc fire the wrong way, gets back thrown, uh-oh. This, this could be, be bad. Yeah, it could be a big mistake by Fat Girls. Uh, Morbid right now trying to capitalize. Trying to oh, to oh. leaves Luma behind for the up smash. Luma just said, you know what, you can taste my foot and get sent to Evan. That was tricky. That was so sly by Morbid to cinch it. That was, like, there was the only way 
he could have gotten out of that was go left, but then he would have been in a bad spot. He could have gone just far away enough to get hit by, by Rosa. Right. Instead. Yeah. Like, and like a, he had oh, like, hell I, of a trap. If he did re react to that, it'd be inhumane. But even so, like right after, you'd still have to predict Rosa and get to the other platform. Yeah. That oh, nice Art cool. Thunder there. Oh, look at this. Fat Girl's playing with a purpose. He's the kind of player who definitely won't take a lion down. Very high competitive mindset. Somebody's trying to improve and play more often. Nice grab here by Morbid. Back throw out of Oh, nice. Oh. That's there. It does um, remind Ooh. me, does Robin up special, does it spike? I'm... It can, yes. Okay. Be not careful. But man, just morbid while we were pondering that one. Oh. Limit evaporate that stock. Yeah. So things off here. Morbid definitely one of those uh, dangerous uh, players in yeah. so SoCal. Smash 4 vet. Somebody's been playing this character a while. It's also got a pocket Bowser as well. And kind of co mains Bowser two characters. Bowser be very dangerous. But the, this this Rosa, man, it's practice. Look at oh. Spacey, the movement. Like an elegant dance from the stars. Wow. <laughs> Was that star's pun intended? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> right now, I, I, I'm cheesing like that. <laughs> yes, exactly. We, we are cheesing SoCal. But we don't play Steve. God, we don't play Steve. We, this someone doesn't play Steve. I don't, I don't play Steve. <laughs> anyway, not, not about Steve. We got, uh, Factor's is trying to navigate through what becomes almost like an ever-changing complex puzzle that more of its pose again. Oh Ooh. man, he tried to get, he just tried to brute force it with that ever fatal down smash. It didn't quite work. All right, now Morbid still got all three of his stocks, and he's already lapped Fat Girls in percent. Yeah. Fat Girls are really gonna have to try to uh, just close out the stock over the uh, the down special to just consume the projectiles. That's not a trade you want to take if you're Fat Girls. Just eating it right there. Yeah, like. Oof. Like I say, L you want to sneak in a haymaker, and there we go, double nair from. Uh, Morbid take it, take care of that stock. Wild. Yeah. I just, I'm really impressed how Morbid's played this because Fat Girls has definitely been like, like rudimentally throwing hitboxes and disjoints in the right spots, but just, there's just no cohesion. There's no kill confirms coming out for the Robin main. Oh, but the arc fire to back air is going to do it. One thing that I do, uh, <laughs> that I've seen from Fat Girls, he does use the uh, the arc fire on ledge, but the, uh, Morbid. Morbid doing really well to like stall him uh, off stage to just avoid it for the most part and it also t takes a while for it to come out and then he uses Luma. Luma is actually a, a kind of a big factor in this matchup now that I think about it. Oh, it absolutely is. Again, like I was saying earlier, it makes it really hard for, it makes it hard for anybody to focus on two places at one, but there we go. Luma's been dealt with temporarily for now. Now it's Fat Girl's chance to really make Morbid pay with Morbid and some movement. Able just to hold on to him long enough for Luma to reappear, make her re entrance. Oh my gosh, I thought that was the start of something fatal. Oh, Morbid getting set pretty high. He's actually at uh, 93%. This could lead to something. I believe. Oh, he yeah, had the full charge. Uh, thunder right there uses the arc fire, does get consumed though. He's charging up that thunder more. Throws the book right there. Yeah, Fat Girl's basically the strategy. Oh, yeah. the back air. <laughs> that was beautiful. Beautiful call out with the back air to predict Morbid's recovery. Oh, no. That, oh, my goodness. Uh, due Morbid's to, let Robin, it rip. Yeah, due to uh, Robin's actually very small uh, first hop can be a very detrimental one. Oh, Just missing the ledge. No. You can see the disappointment in his face. Oh, he, caused, he ran out of durability. Only one of them came out. Yeah, oh, just, that's not, wrong. Not enough resources there to get the uh, the uh, full up beat in effect. I was I, I thought Factor was starting to bring that back. Like he started chucking. He was like, you know what? If you're gonna absorb everything at mid range, I'm gonna chuck everything your way. You're gonna get every projectile I have and my sword. And it was able to set up, uh, force Morbid into a corner where he felt like he had to jump a big jump call out back here to, to set his on the last stock. And then Morbid was like, okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna repay it back to you in kind with a big S smash call out. <laughs> that was that was meaty. That was that was momentous. I can't believe Morbid went for that. I gotta uh, for for Smash. I gotta find a mod which uh, makes Robin uh, have no resources at all, so like he doesn't have to worry about it. 
That would make Robin a bad character. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying like not not eliminate the resources. I mean like have him have infinite resources. Oh, infinite. That's, that's the exact opposite. Sorry, well, my anyway. bad. I meant like no resource bar. So like you went at the oh, but pulling out the Ganon. Never yeah, mind. Forget, we're gonna, we're gonna forget Robin. Yeah, we're gonna see the King of Darkness make an appearance. This is Fat Girl's, I believe, first main character that he's. Oh my gosh, deploy that up smash. Luma's gone. Already. Uh, Oh no, that was a misinput. Yes, be careful. He's actually gimped by. I mean, Rosa is definitely the, the tools to dip Ganondorf. Ganondorf, uh, one of those very big glass cannon characters. He can hit like a truck, but all it takes is for him to be off stage, one little love tap, and he's gone. And this combo game is so read heavy. I mean, there, there's a lot of really beautiful Ganondorf setups you can get with, just like with Rosa Luma. But if you whiff, it's just like the best you'd hope for is a reset. Yeah. Oh, Luma right now, getting him with that meaty up smash. Actually, oh, Luma's gone. That yeah, that uh, trail behind him is gonna kill him. Now it's just Mo Morbid Rosa. Grab. Oh man, almost getting the right guess dash tag. It's, it's now Ro it's Morbid's attempt to try to get the edge guard going. Fat girls wards him away to the other side of the stage. These nares setting up a ledge trap. Excellent oh. defense there by Morbid, and he's able to poke him with the fair. Fat girls right now uh, could possibly close out the stock with a simple jab at this point. Rosa being light. <gasps> oh my gosh, I thought the wizard's foot was going to kill him. Luma saved him, but not from that wizard's foot. There's no saving anybody from that one. Dang. Right. Oh, the S-Smash. Oh, that was perfect spacing right there. And it's back to even. Exactly 0-0. Zero, zero. Goes for the forwarder. I mean, uh, forward throw back here right there. Oh, gets the uh, flame choke right there. Morbid actually uh, do doing slightly better than this last stock. Goes for the border. Please, Fagos, do not have wasted your jump. Oh, no. You should have went lower. What are you doing? Oh, no. Uh, just the, the moment getting away from Fat Girls as uh, Morbid right now is moving into a position oh. to take it away here. And look at that delayed back air. Fat Girls on a whim and a prayer, hoping some of these hitboxes start to connect. Back air, touching Luma, but not Rosa. And he just needs to get Morbid off stage. Oh, there goes Luma. Rosa, it's but at what Rosa. cost? Look at that. Because he went for the Luma kill, he's off stage again. Yeah. The, the thing with, with uh, what I'm seeing about Batgirls, he's not really using the air dodges. Oh, <gasps> wait, it no. didn't grab him? It didn't grab? That should have grabbed. Oh. There, there was no, if he would have grabbed, he would have been fine. Well, are you kidding? No, that's, I would, oh, that's bull. Womp, womp. <laughs> that's bull. I mean, I guess that's why Ganon's bottom tier. Poor Ganon. He, he got, they gave him the sword that everyone's been asking for.